Hi, my name is Colin Crilly, and I'm president of the National Honor Society at Brick Township High School. We want to give you an overview of what we're all about, and who better to start with than with Lisa Stansberry, our advisor. I'm Lisa Stansberry, advisor of the Brick Township High School National Honor Society, and our purpose is twofold. First of all, we want to recognize outstanding students, um, student scholars who represent our four pillars of scholarship. Um, they need to portray excellent character traits, leadership qualities, and give back to their community. We um, thrive on community service. The other purpose is we are a community service organization, so in addition to recognizing outstanding scholars, it's more than just having a feather in a cap, being in the National Honor Society. We do do multiple projects every month in our school, community, and um, larger society, so we spend a lot of our time trying to be model citizens. We're very active in our school community. Our first purpose is to give back to our school. Um, we play major roles in, in things such as freshman orientation, our back to school night, we serve as ambassadors, we take part in the summer carnival, and we really try and support our PTSA, they do a lot for our school. We were present at the Handicap Accessibility Benefit in June. We help them with their walkathons. we assist, we always try to take part in courtyard cleanups and beautification days, they really do a lot for our school. Uh, we assist at the craft fair they run in November. A major role of a National Honor Society in a school is tutoring. We spend a lot of hours helping students um, achieve their best academically. So we've got our tutoring service up and running. Um, to all students, if you are interested in tutoring services, you just simply need to fill out paperwork. You can get the paperwork down in Student Services or Room 408 and submit it, and within a week, we'll have you hooked up with a tutor. This spring, we're also looking forward to doing some sort of a service day in our school where National Honor Society members will um, pr provide services to teachers looking for assistance in whatever capacity. We're also very active in district schools. Um, we, we like outreach with our elementary schools. We take part in the Emma Haven Santa Luncheon. We lent a hand at the Drum Point Winter Carnival. We help out a lot at the PLC. We helped with the kindergarten registration. Uh, one of our favorite activities is reading to the children at the PLC. We are looking to go do the Polar Express again in December, where we read the story to children and do accompanying activities. Last year, they even got little souvenirs, bells on necklaces. And then we'll be looking forward to doing a spring reading day again at the PLC. We also like to give our assistance to the special ed PTA in town. We assist with egg hunts and um, various activities. Another important aspect of the National Honor Society is community outreach. Each year, we have the chance to take part in a multitude of projects to help out the community. And one of the most exciting and fun projects we had this year was the Senior Citizen Prom. Um, through Mr. Philippone and the Superintendent's Advisory Committee, we put this prom together in the cafeteria of our high school. We all had a really great time being able to dance with the senior citizens and have a good time with them. In addition to that, we also had the opportunity to take away some important life lessons from them from their many years of life experience. We also went and raked leaves for the elderly. We'd go and rake their leaves, bag them up, and bring them to the curb for them if they're unable to due to their age or their physical limitations. Another activity we've had the opportunity to take part in this year are soup kitchens. We've done one at Visitation Church in Brick, and we've done a second one so far this year at St. Joseph's in Tom's River. We're going to try to do some more this year because it's also a very rewarding experience for both ourselves and for the recipients. In years past, we've also taken part in drives to Dottie's house. A few years ago, we took part in a household goods drive, and last year we took part in a used cell phones drive. The phones would be reprogrammed and given to victims of domestic abuse. This year, we've also decided that our members would like to adopt a child from Uganda. Another activity we take part in each year is Relay for Life. Relay for Life is a rally against cancer created to raise funds for cancer research and raise awareness for the cause. Our school historically gives a large sum to the cause each year, and we try to give a good amount as well. It's a lot of fun for our members, and we all have a great time there each and every year. One of our biggest activities that we do each year, too, is the rummage sale. The rummage sale originally began a few years ago by being conceived of by members of the National Honor Society. It was a bunch of students four years ago that decided to do this as a fundraiser because we give out money for a multitude of different events. This is a huge project and it's really amazing because it's student driven, student created, and it's student run. All the goods are displayed on tables similar to a flea market and are sold by National Honor Society members. 
The funds generated from this event are very helpful because they really go out to events like Relay for Life, which we donated $5,000 to a few years ago. And last year, we donated money back to the school and bought signboards for the cafeterias. And this, the rummage sale as an event is really excellent for the students themselves because this becomes a training event for all the students where the junior class takes over the whole event and runs it themselves. And it really prepares us as a leadership activity to take over the club for the following year. And essentially, the National Honor Society, in many ways, is leadership training. For every event we run, we select chair people. And the chairperson or chairpersons is responsible for organizing everything that needs to be organized, delegating tasks, accomplishing duties, finding contingency plans for anything that could go wrong. And they see those activities through to fruition. And in that way, our members already have very good leadership skills, but this helps enhance them and get them ready for the next stage in life. Currently, we have 14 members of the National Honor Society. There are senior members. We'll be inducting in November, and then our numbers will probably go up to about 30 or 35 students. Uh, we don't have any quotas. We take whoever's qualified. We do seem to be one of the more selective chapters in the area. There's four pillars to the National Honor Society, character, leadership, scholarship, and service. And students must show outstanding achievement in all four areas to be selected for membership. The first is scholarship. If a student has a weighted cumulative average of a 92 GPA, they are invited to apply. So any junior or senior at the beginning of that junior or senior year who has the 92 will be invited. On the application, they must detail leadership positions, extracurricular activities, community service in both the school and the community. They must also garner recommendations vouching for their character. At that point, grades are taken out of the equation. Anyone who has a 92 or above is on equal footing. We then review the applications for community service, extracurricular activities, leadership, and character. Um, this year, the applications will be due October 6th. Our faculty council will review the applications, and all decisions will most likely be made by the end of October. Our induction is set for early November, and um, we look forward to welcoming our new members. The BTHS National Honor Society looks forward to serving our school and community this year. Thank you.